From old false teeth and moldy soup, Gerald and Jean made a gloop, and when that gloop with slime was laced, out came the three bag monkey face! If you do, you're gonna love the taste of Pinksy Cola. We don't like Stinksy Cola, so make it Pinksy Cola. We can make a soft drink. You think so? But ours will be super gross. <laughs> yeah! So it's a gross out soft drink that gross out TV are after. Hmm. Well, I am going to invent a soft drink, and this soft drink will leave the sour taste of failure in their mouths, whilst leaving me with the long, lingering, sweet taste of success. And what could be sweeter than the taste of world domination? Oh, nothing but the taste of my TV show back! <laughs> Now, hold tight, Mr. Beak. We've just got into the soft drinks business. Hairdryer, Death Beak! <laughs> Grusa Cola is now ready for the stores. Yeah, have a taste. It's very good. This stuff is going to sell. Of course! I have created the tingliest, tastiest drinks flavor ever using a top secret ingredient. I call it Flavor X. Now all we need is an advertising campaign. We need someone with a TV profile, someone whom the kids are going to get with, and that someone is Fleabag Monkey Face. Where's the evil bit? <laughs> Look away, bird. And behold! Reclusive billionaire shoulder magnate, Dawson Clack! Tell the gross out then, we're going to make ourselves a deal! I've put everything in here. I'm out of ideas. Somebody out there has got to know how to make a gross-out soft drink. Howdy, fine gentle people. Let me introduce myself. I'm a reclusive billionaire soda magnate, Dawson Clark. And you boys can become the face of Grosser Cola. I've been invited to the Grossa Cola factory. They're making a new super tingly version, Grossa Cola Extreme Fizz. They want the face of Grossa Cola there to launch it. Oh, and I suppose there'll be another huge, fat, juicy paycheck. So, what are you doing with all your money, Fleabag? Mine's in a secure offshore bank. Oh, I've got somewhere much safer than a bank for my money. I keep it right here, where I can keep my eyes on it. Hey, guys! We could film the factory! Remember? Gross Out TV? We used to enjoy it before all this... this money. Just the three of us. With a camera. Sounds good to me. To the factory! Let's make sweet, sweet Gross Out Television! Playback into position. Let's get filming! Here we are at Grosser Cola HQ. It's where the liquid magic happens. Oh, yes, Grosser Cola's team of experts only pick the grossest, rottenest cabbages. Oh, 
all this so we can get a refreshing hit of the one and only Grossa Cola. Bravo! Bravo! That was terrific! You really are too kind, Mr. Clark. I can't wait to taste the new drink. Oh, you'll be tasting it all right. What was that, Mr. Clark? Your voice, it went all and... Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Uh, now, come along. Gross cola Extreme Fizz must be unveiled. Hugo, I need some recluse time. You are the face of Grossa Cola after all. Now enjoy. Make sure everyone gets a bottle of the new drink. Tea is a drink, and so is coffee. But is milkshake a drink or a dessert? Anyway, talking of drinks, what could be better than Grossa Cola? I tell you what's better than Grossa Cola. Grossa Cola Extreme Fizz! It's Grossa Cola with, ex uh, with uh, extra fizz. Hey, what's in this stuff? It's making me feel funny. Hey, Fleabag! What did you put in the drink? been tricked, and we're getting the blame. You gotta hand it to him. The clockmeister certainly knows how to put a bite into his drinks. Lay off the gross of cola, flea bag. We need to lie low while things calm down. Time to say goodbye to Dawson Clack and hello to getting my TV show back. Sparflex. I've got the studio boss on the phone. Oh. Hello, Frank the Force Forsmeyer. You're watching the disturbance on TV. Yes, it is bad, isn't it? I am through with the monkey. All this publicity is destroying the network. True, true. None of this would have ever have happened with yucky science. I'm actually at the Grosser Cola factory. I'm, um, um, um... Investigating. Uh, investigating, yes, that's what I'm doing, yes. What? Uh, we'll sort out the contract to get my show back on television. <laughs> now to deal with those pesky boys and their absurd monkey creature. Once and for all! Time for a clack attack. We are going to turn Gross Out TV into a pulpy mess, then we're going to bottle them. Look, they're over there by the industrial juicer. Hey guys, that giant robotic arm wants to give us a high five! them. <laughs> These highly sophisticated computer systems need expertise. A gentle touch. <laughs> that should do it. Let the juicing commence. Now to get ourselves back in the TV industry. Gene, an idea right now would be kind of useful. Yeah, wouldn't it? We're dealing with poisonous liquid and a robotic arm. Interesting combination. Ah, armpit gut. Oh, I'll pick off that new gross out power I was working on. Well, it certainly produces a... <laughs> Not enough for you, you heartless machine. Well, take this, you cold-blooded automaton. <sighs> we need to get out of here. You know what, guys? I've had another idea. Come and get us. It's working! Now run! You know, before we sign the deal, I think we should toast your new show. What a great idea. Although I think we should avoid the grosser cola extreme. <laughs> ah, I can't bear the stuff. I prefer herbal tea. And look! I bought my priceless Ming Dynasty teapot for the occasion. As ever, your taste is immaculate, sir. That is a fine, fine-looking piece of ceramic you have there. Been in a family for centuries. It's all I have to remember my ancestors by. It is my most prized possession. Mm, mm, mm. 
That chamomile is fantastic. <laughs> I'm getting open fields, ripe apples, and a <sighs> distinct smell of contracts. <laughs> so, if you'll just sign there and I'll initial here. <laughs> They're out of control! Stop! Stop at once and get back to your posts! Spamflex! So, the first ingredient for my special gross-out drink is all this filthy money! 